The Tsar hydrogen bomb was the most powerful nuclear bomb ever built. The 50 megaton bomb was part of a nuclear test detonated by the Soviet Union on the 30th of October 1961. The bomb was 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. Because of its massive size, a special parachute was invented to slow down its descent and give the bomber enough time to fly away from the explosion. The scientist who created the bomb gave the bomber crew 50% chance of surviving the blast. Following the nuclear blast, shockwaves were were felt over 200 kilometers away, shattering windows in neighboring countries. The nuclear explosion created an 8 kilometer wide fireball and a 67 high mushroom cloud. It was seven times taller than Mount Everest. The detonation flash was seen from over 1,000 kilometers away. It was visible in Norway, Greenland, and Alaska. When scientists measured the shock wave created by the bomb, they found that it was equivalent to a massive earthquake of over 5 degrees on the Richter scale. The heat from the explosion caused third degree burn at a distance of over 100 kilometers away, the nuclear blast created a ring of absolute destruction that had a 35 kilometer radius. The bomb's large weight and bulky size made it impractical to use as a military weapon and was only deployed one time as a display of superiority. Before the Soviet Union developed the Tsar bomb, the father of the hydrogen bomb and theoretical physicist Edward Teller wanted to help the US build a 10,000 megaton super bomb, which is 200 times more powerful than the Soviet Tsar bomb. All of this happened over 60 years ago. Science and technology have progressed so much in the past decades. It just makes you wonder what kind of doom bringing bombs and military weapons have been developed since then. I guess it won't be too long before we find out. So what do you think about the Tsar bomb? And do you think humans will someday use such powerful weapons against each other? Leave your answer in the comment section.